Hello everyone, Wanda here, and I wanted to um, do a little project with these garden stones that I picked up at Dollar General for a dollar. <laughs> and they're a bit rough and the paint is kind of messy on them, but I think I'm just going to start over with them. I was trying to remove bits of paint and then, uh, you know, make it... Uh, the way I wanted it, but I think I'm just going to paint over it and then tidy it up and, um, you know, embellish with foil and other things. <laughs> so here goes. Anyways, this is uh, Waverly Chalk White. So I'm just going to paint over the whole thing and then repaint it and foil it and glitter it. <laughs> but what a gorgeous thing for a dollar. It's already really ready. It's got the pattern on it. and. The words and everything, just got to paint it in. So I'm going to paint both of them white. Okay, while the other one's drying, I'm going to go ahead and get busy with our ladybug. I'm just repainting. It'll probably take two coats. This is Folk Art Lipstick Red Matte Superior Coverage. And don't fret if you don't get it on perfect, we can always go back and make touch-ups. Okay, and I'm going to let that dry, and then I will do a second coat, which will get rid of the white paint that I didn't let dry. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give Ladybug another coat of red. And touch up this little bit here. Don't know why, because we're painting the legs black. So <laughs> I'm going to use some dotting tools for the black dots on the ladybug. Hey, Mom. Pardon that. My son didn't know I was recording. 
Okay, I'm going to use black dotting tool. This is a dotting rod. I don't know what size, but I'm going to put our spots on ladybug. I believe this is a Mr. Ladybug. It. You never know. Okay, I'm moving to a smaller size. Okay. And now I'm going to do some detail work with the black. And sorry again for the noise. Have to put a second coat here and I'll take my liner brush my custom <laughs> and do this line here nice and tidy okay And to turn and do this. And I'm going to do the legs with an even different brush. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. Light him up.
you know, it's not as easy to paint around these little bits as it would seem. But thankfully, touch ups. Just gonna go ahead and paint the legs as well while I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna, sorry, I tried the L. I wanted to see how this was gonna work. And it's uh, kind of different also painting down inside these letters, but I think it'll work. Just get a very small, detail liner brush thin it out take out most of the bristles and you can just pop it right down in there so it's like carved out and stamped in there and then you know you can touch up whatever you go over with Looks like an A. Hmm. I'll probably change that because I think it is an A by mistake, but it's supposed to be an O. let that dry and touch it up let's see where we are with our ladybug mm, needs some more dry time <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna put some more black in here do some of the scroll So I'm going to go around and fill these in and I will check back in with you in just a moment. Okay, I got that done as good as I'm going to get it done. <laughs> it's, um, it's very challenging to paint down inside those grooves without getting it outside. I know that seems like it would be easier, but it's not if they were raised. This was easy with it being raised, but going inside the grooves, that's not easy. I'm switching over to Chromatech uh, watercolor brush pens. I'm going to do some of the flowers. And I'm just going to start putting some color down to see what we come up with. This is golden yellow.
kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to go into a browner color. Let's see. Oops. Pear yellow. Let's see. Some red in there. This is dark brown. Okay, and some yellowy, like a lemon yellow. Yes, lemon yellow. I like this is very pretty. You can probably hear the music going. <laughs> it is six o'clock in the evening and that is my cue to go cook supper when the music starts. So I will be pausing and I will be back to finish our flowers after I cook supper. All right, see you in a bit. All right, supper done, I'm back. I'm going to change from the watercolor pens to Ohuhu alcohol markers. Um, these are dual ended. It's a brush and a chisel tip. Um, a broad and a brush. Anyways, I am uh, switching over because the watercolor pens, they faded out, so. I actually touched up the flowers with the yellow color of Ohuhu. These don't have names, so they have, well, yeah, they do. Dark yellow, sorry. I lie. <laughs> anyway. 
anyways, I'm gonna put some color back into these flowers. Emerald green. Let's see what this does. No, not need to green. I'm gonna add raw umber to it. And for the leaves, this is bud, bud green. And I'll be doing several different colors on these leaves. Okay, I'm going to add Vivid Green. Come back in with the bed green again and blend that a little bit. These are alcohol ink, so they move around. Okay, that was raw umber. All right, I think I'm ready to do some bling bling here. Let's see. 
putting some eyes on our ladybug. Or maybe I'll do the butterfly over here real quick. I probably won't finish this one, but I will work on it so we can uh, foil it. So I'm going to paint this butterfly black because I want to foil the majority of it. Okay, I finished painting that. I'm gonna let that dry while I come back and work on this one again. I want to do some pretty foil, lace foil on our ladybug shell. And then on the ladybug spots, do some other pretty foil. Okay, I've got this black lace I want to use on our ladybug shell. So I'll start with that. I'm going to bring down my camera just a moment. I'm going to add some dragonfly glaze, a full spectrum shift. It's the one that does the holographic shift. That is 44380. I'm going to add some of that to the shell, to the whole ladybug. <laughs> it's glitter, yes. So, ladybug, ladybug. Get your bling on, right? And then I will let this dry, obviously, before I start foiling. We'll let uh, Ladybug dry here. Okay, while that's wet, I am going to add some glitter to Ladybug. And it's probably going to go on one piece at a time. So... You can see that. <laughs> I think it's already dry. Hold the phone. Okay. 
and just layering it in there. Okay, I'm almost done laying that glitter, but look how gorgeous that is. Oh, so pretty. I saw um, Rachel do this one time on a penguin, and then just yesterday, I saw Susan Nelson do it, and it's just beautiful. Reminded me, I have some of that glitter. Or some like it. I don't have the recollections that they were using the very large chunky. But this came in a pack of either 12 or 16 uh, glitters like this from Walmart. Just in a big thing of glitter. <laughs> and it wasn't expensive. Just a few dollars for all of those. Uh, Susan Nelson has a channel. It's Kennecat Creations. K E A N E K C A K A T. I'm sorry. I'll put her link in my uh, description down below so you can check out her videos and her tutorials. She's an amazing dot artist. She does some dotalism that is so intricate and so beautiful. Okay, done there. I'm going to put a couple of white dots on the eyes and then I will, yeah, we're dry there. I'll start foiling our bug. I'm just going to use the end of a paintbrush, dip it in a little white paint, and oops, that was too much. Darn it. Well, live and learn. It's okay, that's why they created Q-tips, I'm pretty sure, because they knew I was going to be existing someday. Queen of boo-boos. See? How better. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, a little bit. <laughs> and I still do it big. Okay, we're going to have big whites. Wow. Our ladybug has really white eyes. <laughs> we might go for another black dot. <laughs> Who knows? All right. So I've already got some glue I'm still trying to use up here. I think it's still good. We'll check it and see. Yep, still usable. I'm going to do the red of the ladybug shell here. It's a little gooey, but it will work. We can just go right over the dots because we're going to foil the dots also, but with a different type of foil. So. I think I've used up that glue now. I 
don't recommend using thick glue like this if you're doing any like full metallic foils but for a lace transfer like this where it won't matter if it breaks up a bit or wrinkles a bit or anything like that definitely use up your glue glue's not it's not cheap so anyways I'm gonna fire this make sure it's nice and smooth and free of bubbles I mean don't like catch it on fire but <laughs> you know let me see if I can save some of these. Save those for later. I'm going to give it a, a cure for one cycle. Okay, make sure you have the right side down. If you drag your fingers along it, you can feel a drag on the right side, okay? And I have some white paint on there, but it's on the top, so we're good. <laughs> um, if you'll notice, I'm gonna cut this foil. If you'll notice, on the edges of the foil, there is a clear strip. That actually is foil also, and it will mess you up if you have to put these together because you'll have a blank spot there. So try to cut that off of at least one side that you're gonna seam them together. See this clear strip here? Yeah, that is a pain in the rump. So get rid of that. That way you don't have to deal with it. You know, trying not to stick it on your glue. Better if you don't cut this right over your glue in case it falls into it. Okay. Let's see here. Well, <laughs> there's always that. I think I'll go this way and then do the bottom. Okay. I'm going to use a Q-tip to get in my little areas because this is like a sculpture it's rounded it's not flat you got to get in in the areas silicone tip tool comes in handy for these things too I gotta get up here. If you find it's not sticking, you can hit your light while it's on there. If you feel like the glue is not cured enough or right. Because it's transparent, you can just hit it again while you're working on it. I think we're good. this over here I like it so you can see here that we have some like filigree now on our ladybug back okay so now on the dots on the ladybug I'm going to add some laser which is this stuff to the dot to the black dots and it'll just make it pop pop so I'm going to put some glue in my pot here and I'll be using SXC And some dotting tools 
if you use them with the paint, make sure they're really dry um, before you put them in the glue because that will ruin the cure. All right, I'm gonna dot that with some glue. Wipe that with acetone or alcohol. I'm just gonna make sure all my dots have the glue before I start the cure. Okay, one cycle there. Okay, Let's... ooh, pretty nice. Very nice. It did transfer a little bit on our ladybug back because it's still kind of sticky. But I'm going to go ahead and add some of that glitter to the tail or back. Wait, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to add some of this glitter back there and see if hopefully I'll get it back off of the Yeah. It's so super fine though. Ah, of course, then I knock it over. Yay! Pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to pour this back in my jar. I don't work with glitter a lot because it's very messy. <laughs> and I'm not that person. You see, I, I'm a messy person. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not able to keep glitter um, contained. See? Seriously, how do people do this? I see people making those tumblers and stuff and they just like dump bottles of glitter on the tumblers and I, I'm like panicking every time I see that. So you know I have it all over me. What? I'm crafty, but not like that. <laughs> Oops, see, how do you do it? All right, don't laugh at me. It's okay. You can laugh at me if you want to. But I'm going to have this glitter on me for five years. <laughs> Let's see. Just want to make sure it's nice and sealed. Yes, I'm blowing on it. I don't really want it everywhere. All right. There's that. Now for the flowers. What should we do? Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking they're good. What do you think? Oh, there's a piece of glitter in there. Huh. No, there's not. Okay. Should we do some foil on those too? Let's do that since I got lots of glue left here. It won't be. I'm going to use the transparent foil so it will be easy peasy. Just paint on the flowers.
think that's the end of the glue, so we will call this the end of this ladybug rock or garden stone. <laughs> okay, I'm using the discs transparent. Hmm. Let me finish using up this one. pretty okay so to finish it off I'm going to do just a little touch up with white paint down here around the bottom of my ladybug and seal it with resin so that way everything is nice and sealed in there okay for the um, resin. I'm using Mr. Resin and I'm going to put this up on a riser rock to lift it up a bit so that when I put it in my large high watt uh, it will be high enough to be cured properly. So this is probably going to take quite a bit of resin. I'm going to start oops, around here and putting it in the edges so that um, there's no bubbles. what I can do here. Oops, it's taken off the glitter. I think that's good. I don't want it dripping off the side, so I'm going to try to not do it thick out there, but I do want it thick enough to, to cover, you know, things without messing them up. And in all reality, I should have sprayed this with Rust-Oleum 2X. Thankfully, this is UV resin. If it hadn't been, 
those pens would be bleeding everywhere. Something about UV resin makes it pretty awesome. Things don't bleed too much, not very often. Alcohol inks usually bleed no matter what, but we're getting lucky here. And I'm getting glitter everywhere. I think that's good. <clears throat> and I'm just going to do this so that the uh, <laughs> glitter, chunks of glitter, quit sliding down so that when I pop it in there, they don't move. Okay, those won't move no more. Okay, you saw me use a brush on the resin. You can clean that brush off with um, acetone, alcohol, or hand sanitizer. And I will show you how to do that here. I'm putting that on two, it'll probably take three, I'm sorry, three cycles of 120 seconds. Um, so what I do is usually get a small cup, like a disposable or something, this will work like something recycled, disposable. Pour some alcohol in it. And then clean the brush. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and this brush is designated for uh, resin. So I don't use it on anything else. And then a few times from now it will fall apart because the glue will break up in them but what's that called the um but 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 anyways up there in the furl it'll break up in there and those um, bristles will fall out because we're using alcohol and acetone and stuff like that those are pretty strong solvents so okay and then paper towel And then clean it again. And then one last clear rinse with alcohol. And it might still feel semi-stiff next time you use it. Um, and you know that it's getting close to being toast when it does that. I'll show you. Like this one is, see how it's kind of stiff? and it doesn't really move that well. So this one's pretty much almost toast, almost time to throw it away. But if I give it one more go, it might. I mean, it's always good to recycle everything as much as you possibly can. No reason to make waste. Alright, still stiff, but usable for another resin or two. Alright, are we ready to see our pretty ladybug? It's going to have to cure a couple more times, but let's take a peek. Oh, I'm so happy. Now, wouldn't that make a pretty gift for your mother? Love blooms here. Thank you everyone so, so much for tuning in today. If you liked this tutorial, 
pretty please with sugar and honey and pecans if you're in the south on top <laughs> hit subscribe and like and tell me what you think about it and maybe leave me a little uh, comment and tell me what you'd like to see anyways bloom away it is springtime everyone